Hi there folks, Morgana Hilra here. It is currently almost 5.30 in the morning for me, so please bear with me. I might make a couple stumbles, a few ums and ohs, but I will get you there, I promise. I am sharing with you today a free gift from Logo. Now, they are celebrating their 15th year, and for that, they are giving you a gift. You being a female or a male avatar in Second Life. All you have to do is head on over to their store, join their group, which is free, pay one linden to the box of whichever head you choose to get, maybe you might want to get both, and they will refund the linden, plus they will give you a head. In this case, I am sharing with you Chelsea, the anniversary edition head. I will share with you what is in the folder. I will share with you um, what I've learned before doing this video of the HUD itself. And then you'll travel with me on a learning curve for myself and for you. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Trust me on this. I swear to God, when they wrote the four dummies handbooks, they were talking to me. So... After all that is said and done, I'm going to share with you what I'm currently wearing, as well as information about the background. After that, what you choose to do is on you, but all of the information will be on Flickr, as well as on my blog. And as always, if there is something that you would like me to blog, let me know either in comments, messages, note cards, IMs. I'm sure you can figure it out. And if I can do it, I will. All right, so let's start things off, shall we? In this right here, I have the head. It's all like, I love being nice and organized. As you can see, I got my mesh heads in here. Near, 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 near. There's logo. I got my boxed items. I got my heads, my boxed heads. And then, of course, what on earth is that? I'm not going to need that. So I'm going to move this into my boxed heads. Bye. Same with you, mister. Go away. Boxed heads, boxed heads. All right. Just like narrowing it all down boxed item there we go now for this particular post I'm going to use obviously the um, logo folder for Chelsea and I also have some blogging items from events or just random group gifts that kind of thing so in the folder once you open it up this is what you get you get your how to apply skins and options which we will be looking at that uh, you have your natural AO. Um, I put it on earlier. I didn't see much of a difference, but that does not mean that it doesn't work. It just means I'm dense. All right. We also have the animation HUD, which I will be showing you later. Uh, we have the animation installer with ears or without ears. Now, what that means, from what I understand, and I could be wrong, and if I am, feel free to correct me. With no ears, which is the one that I would be wearing, um, this is the head down here. No ears, no ears, no ears. See right there. Oh, boy, was I wrong there. Anyway, so I'm wearing the no ears package because from what I understand, Logo sells ears at their store. And some of them have... Uh, movement like motion and if you are going to use their animations you would either use no ears like me or with ears which is the logo ears that have the motion so I'm guessing that their animations will um, adjust to if you have the ears or if you don't makes sense right so if you have movement in your ears then the animation that is being added to your head will have the movement of the ears. Um, I actually, from what I remember while I was getting ready for this, I think that I actually have something, blogging items, do I have it? Yes, there is an animation there, so maybe we'll actually get to explore that. All right, so moving on, you get your bento head instructions, which I actually spent a lot of time in that earlier. You have your um, gestures for talking, 
I have not actually used that yet. I'll probably try that out with my friend Doom later. You get your alpha layers. Now these alpha layers, they're all over the place in here. Um, uh, if you want to use appliers for your eyes, then you would wear this alpha layer down here. Uh, if you want to use a applier for your head or your body, then you would apply those alpha layers. However, I'm using baked on mesh and we will touch base on that shortly. You have your demo skins here. I'm assuming that these are the skins that they offer at the store. Again, over here in this package here, I do have skins from both uh, Logo and Pink Fuel. And as you can see, there's these appliers and whatnot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through that later. Do, 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 do. Main thing in this folder I'm gonna be showing you is the um, like eyelashes and stuff. I haven't even gone through it myself, so you're gonna be learning along with me. Okay, then you have your head versions. Now, I'm not sure what this means. You get your head or you get this one here, it says Mesh Body SL Neck. I'm not sure what that is. I just went with the Old Faithful, the normal. <laughs> da -da -da -dum -dum. You get some logo uh, eyebrow demos. You get your logo um, eyebrow layer, or not layer, shape. You get your eyes, your teeth. You get a shape to start with. However, I made my own shape for this. Um, and then you get your customization HUD. Now it says empty. See, that's what confused me when I first started going to use this, um, to share with you. However, I have since then figured it out. So what you would do is you attach your, um, HUD here. Now this is where it's going to be interesting. After I've shown you the basics, this is where all of the makeups and stuff like that are going to be stored. And so because I have actually found some of the um, items that I have to install into this head, I'm going to touch base on that later. Then you have your options tab, your tinting, all that fun stuff. Now I'm going to skip over that because I'm coming right back to it. Here you have your saved lit looks. La, 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 la. Um, you have four. However, uh, you can copy this HUD and make as many of these HUDs as you want to have a different look saved in each. Then, of course, you have your helps, your settings and helps, um, ways to restore everything. So this is like if you are using this customization tab up here and you just want to reset everything back to normal, you click any of these. So you've got your um, your head to default, alphas to default, materials to default, HUD to default. It says warning with this um, deletes. I'm assuming it says delete all appliers. However, I can't actually see it, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, clear all layers. That is a layer, a picture, not a picture, a tab that I love to use constantly. You get your tools, delete your scripts in your head. Um, I'm not sure why people do that, but you can. Pose your avatar, help, you've got your instructions, your local support group, and your YouTube channel. Again, that's another link that I use a lot. Other links, Flickr, Marketplace, and Logo Store. All right, so I'm gonna pop back up here to the tinting and options. Now, when I first put this head on, uh, I was looking for the HUD and that one said empty. So I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, obviously if it's empty, there's nothing there. However, there actually is. You can tint your eyelashes um, and save them any way you want. So I'm gonna come up close here so you can see the eyelashes somewhat. Now you can't really see them like this. However, I went ahead and saved at least two. And there's your eyelashes. See? Do, 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 do. And I haven't figured out how to remove um, items from your custom list. However, for saving them, let's, uh, you know, just for the sake of it, come back up here. Uh, let's go green. <laughs> So there's your eyelashes and you want to save them. So you save and you touch where you want to save them. So I'm, I'm assuming that means you can overwrite stuff. Let's see. See, you can overwrite. So that's cool. 
and then of course you want to go back to black because everybody wants at least one black um, eyelash so back to saving yay all right so moving on you've got your hide ears now if you go back here you'll be able to see it uh, hide ears see there's the ears I like to use the um, heads default ears to line up where I'm going to put my mesh ears and then you hide them yay that was one thing I was massively worried about when I put on the head I wanted to make sure I was going to be able to hide that you got your neck sizes. I'm currently using a 7. Now, have you ever noticed sometimes your head just does not fit the normal neck or whatever? Uh, it doesn't change for me, but whatever. <laughs> I'm assuming that might be what that other head is to adjust um, for your neck and your head to work with your mesh body. Either or uh, whatever. <laughs> Always make sure to enable... Uh, based on mesh that's that tab right there click that to make it so that you can wear um, skins and whatnot uh, plus your layers currently I am wearing pink fuel Pew! let's go over here pink fuel pink fuel logo um, to over shopping no it wouldn't be under that da -da 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 -da. Huh. where on earth did I put it maybe I did put it in there Let's see. October shopping. Blogging. There it is. Pink fuel. Now, that really should not be in there. That should be up in here under blogging items. There we go. This is Paulina. Baked on mesh skin. Popping it open. I am wearing the peach skin with a light brow and a lip gloss. So, again, baked on mesh. Awesome. Plus, you know, a good thing about Baked on Mesh, if you have skins in your inventory, if you are a lifer like I am, you might have predated HD skins that you want to check and see what how they look on your avatar, which I'm actually going to do that in a video montage later sometime this week. Moving on, the alpha head. Okay, so I have already tested this and I can tell you right now, the only way you're actually going to see what this does is if I use the top. Ta-da! See, it pokes through. And then you click this and ta-da! You can wear your favorite heads. It does it at the back too. I don't know if you've ever noticed, sometimes at the very back your head kind of pokes through. Alright, eyelashes. I'm going to have to show you that once I'm finished this part of the first part of the video. And over here, when you first get the HUD, you're going to see this right here. Now, these are the eyes, and this you only wear these eyes if you are wearing your eyes alpha out. And again, I am wearing Baked on Mesh. So you click this next button, and there is your BOM tab right there. Always make sure to click that. I'm not sure what these eyeball shadows are. I'm not going to mess with that because when I tried it earlier, it looked wrong. But I guess for the sake of this video, oh, there we are. Okay, so there is a shadow there. Take it on and off. Okay, I get it. I don't know. I like the nice, crisp, clean kind of look to it. All right, you can change the texture of your teeth and your tongue as well. All right, so I'm going to pop over to this customization. Eh, all right, so boo, boo, boo. this is where the fun begins. Yeah, I'm so happy, fun, go lucky. Uh, <laughs> I always mess these parts up, but I'm going to try and see how it all works out. So all right, let's go back up here and check how to apply skins. I'm just gonna skim through and then show you what I've learned. Um, where the customization, got it. Where the skin and options installer that came with your head. Uh, okay. Um, that's the animations that came with my head. I see animations, but I don't see what they're talking about. Oh, never mind. Found it. it says in the demo, but okay. So I've got that up now. All right. I wonder if I should take off my 
I'm gonna take off my um, uh, this one here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess I technically can't take that off, can I? Huh. Hold on a second. What am I wearing then? Thought. No. It's not under there. Okay, blogging items. Alright, I'm going to take off my lipstick because that is a layer. Alright, so that's interesting. I'm going to catch a look here. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize it. I thought this was a layer. Oh, Alright, so then I can actually save that. That that That's kind of cool. Well, actually, I can't save it because it's not the same thing. Anyway, <sighs> yes, I know I'm babbling and a lot of you are putting up with it. Alright, so we're going to go over here to this Maeve applier thingy here because see, they, not the Maeve, I don't want the Maeve one, I want the Yelena. There we are. Logo appliers, there's a head installers. Okay, so, da da da, dee dee dee. Where the lo logo customization, where the skins and options installer that came with your head. Click any option you want to install or install everything with one click. You know what? That's for the demo, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure that's what I'm going for here. So, hold on a second. Here's the eyelash. Click to install all. Um, whoa. See, that's a demo skin. Hold on a second. I want to try something here. Where's Peach? There we are. Logo. Let's slap that sucker on. I want to see if my idea here is correct. Okay, so there's the customization. Aha! See? The other one would have had me... Oopsie. Would have had me um, changing the entire thing, actually. Why on earth is this not working for me? Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's what they were talking about. Because the other one would have installed um, demo skins. I don't like putting demo skins on things. So install all. There we go. Please do not detach. Everything is installed, but I don't see it on there. Okay, so we'll unattach that because it's already installed. Wait for the customization that says everything is there and then remove the installer HUD. Yay! Of course you can still use Omega skins and the pliers. Okay, so I'm not sure. Ah, there we go. See? Learning with me. Learning with Morgana. Okay, so we change it. And, ooh, that doesn't look right. Oh, I guess that's a th if you want to use an applier. Okay, that's fine. We'll go back in here so that way we can show you what it looks like, right? <laughs> okay, add. Doo -doo -boo. And as you can see, there go my, um, my eyes. Ugh, God. I don't think I can actually wear the BOM eyes with? Can I? No, I can't. Boo. <laughs> Let's see. Logo. Take off. Alright, so it looks like um Oh, I saw. Okay, so that is confusing. <laughs> See, there it goes. Um, Alright, so again, I'm learning with you, so that's obviously not going to work right. When I learn how to figure that out, then I will share it with you. But it looks like in order to wear the installed skins, you'll have to wear a, um, whatchamacallit. So here, there's the eyes. All right, let's try it again. Ugh. All right, where's the eyes? And we will just choose one of theirs. And go back up here again. There we go. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> if you want to use your customization HUD, you have to alpha out your head because that's the applier. All right, and I particularly don't like doing that, but hey, you know, for the, the case of this, that's what I'll do. 
Um, now this here, interesting. It doesn't say a plier, but let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, coming back up. Installer, there we go. Moving over. Install all. Has it installed? Finished. Yes, it has. All right, so I'm installing these so that I can share them with you. Um, doo -doo -boo. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so those two are installed. And I'm going to stick this into this folder. Uh, animation add-on, so we'll figure that out in a second. Okay, installer. There we go. Da -da -da -ba -ba. Waiting for this to go for install. Oh, I really feel like I should have extra music or something, but I'll just wait. All finished. Install all. Okay, where's the eyeshadows? Lipsticks, cheeks, eyebrows. There is a lashes, right? Okay, I really do not like how... Oh, wow, that was close. I don't like how long the uh, nearby local chat lasts. It drives me insane. So we're going to come back this way. And then pull this down here. Uh, shadow, shadow, shadow lips. Blah, blah, blah. I don't see the eyelashes. Why is it that there's no eyelash thing, but you can install lashes? Ugh, gosh, that drives me insane. Do they have it down here? Yes, they do. Yay! Okay. Bang! Alright, there are your lashes. Come on, show me. Alright, so they're down there. Okay, customization. I just added this, so I should try it, right? <laughs> oh, that can come off. I'm not sure why when I'm looking directly at my avatar, I can't see the eyelashes as well. Like, as well as. But I think there's actually a way to adjust the length. I'm not 100% sure. You're Let's take a look. No. 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 <laughs> well, shows what I know. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you can see it this way, but do you want to be looking up your nose the entire time? Eh, I'm sure there's somebody out there who can help me out with this. Please, feel free. Explain it to me. Obi-Wan. <laughs> okay. Go this way. Maybe go to the first set. There we go. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ouch. Okay, back up to customization. Next up, we have a uh, another eyelash. So, what's this? Whoa, nope, these are just mesh eyelashes. That's cool. Okay, so that is actually going to go... I, I don't know, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, installer war paint. Don't know where this is going to go, but... You're going to see it at the same time I do. Pew! Tattoo! Yeah, there you go. You know, I guess it was sort of a blessing to see that... Um, it was a blessing in disguise that Adobe went and ate my um, previous installation or, or my previous recording. So then this way I can actually show you these tattoos. Yep, yep. Okay. Da, 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 ba, da. And this one here goes back to he this tinting uh, tattoo. Okay. I personally like it when my f tattoos are black when they're on my face. So there's that. Now, these would actually go further, but it's the baby hairs that are causing that. So I do not know how to fix that, but it doesn't really show unless you're really looking. Okay. And to turn this off. There we go. Gets rid of it quickly. 
Alright, what's up next? Drama eyeshadow. <laughs> See, told you you guys were going to learn this with me. Alright. Install. Okay. And install. I don't know where it went. Logo enhance, no crease, that's this one. But I would think that it would have gone here too. Oh no, one has a crease, one doesn't have a crease. Okay, cool. Um, going, checking that out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that is so cool. See, you're learning with me. And I'm not actually epically failing, so that's kind of cool too. Smeared. Alright, let's take that off for now. Um, enhanced. Okay, I'm assuming that's it there. Where is the chat? Oh yeah, there we go. And then this one here too. I wonder if I have to do it individually. Yeah, it looks like it. And it is popping up there. Perfect. Okay. There's a smear for the advance. Remove that. Huh, that is so cool. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, and of course you've got your standard. Turn off that. <laughs> that is so me an hour ago. Alright, so pop that off. Then you got your enhanced glosses. I'm not sure if this head comes with Omega already inside of it, but they do offer a lot of Omega um, enhancements and stuff. You know what is funny here? <laughs> not in a yay funny way, but funny in a way that um, I didn't know. I got this from um, Ebento a while back and I was meaning to blog it but that I don't know if you remember is when I really got sick for a while and I wasn't able to blog anything. So I did not know that there was already a head in there. So to Logo I'm sorry that I didn't blog this at the time but I will blog it shortly and I'm covering it now too so there's that. <laughs> and there's your lipstick I really do love the lips that's something that I have to mention da -da -da. I wonder if you can okay cannot send to tattoo okay let's go to tinting options lips I don't know if you can tint the lips but you know doesn't hurt to check Oh, no, that's lashes. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so let's get out of that. <laughs> um, go back to my lashes. And unclick lashes before I start to play around with lips and stuff. Okay, so I guess you can't tint your lips, but whatever. Not when you're using a customization, I'm assuming. Let's take a look. That's cute. I like the gloss. Okay, so take that off. Uh, just for the sake of it, I am going to open this up. What on earth is it doing back there? Left click me to open. Or just accept that. <laughs> okay, so... I am going to go back up in here and grab this and just put it into that folder there. Oh, look at that. It's got everything there. Okay, so turning around. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so I'm back here again. Going back down. Anything else? Uh, logo, skin, applier. Um, wait. 
didn't I just unpack that? Yeah, Josie, it's up there. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at this and see what is going on. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know if this is an installer. I guess we're both going to find out. Installer, look at that. Do, do, do. And choose your skin, standard or freckled. I'm just going to put both of them in because why not? Okay, and then click this. Do, do, do. And then the enhanced lips, that's at the bottom there. And eyebrows. Eyebrows are always a very good thing to have. Okay. And then remove. So as you can see, that's a melody skin, and uh, it comes with a shape for the Josie head. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, close. I am only showing this for now, so that way, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. Nope, that's good. Da -da -da -da. And I've already used Paulina. Wait, Paulina, do you have an installer as well? No, she's only B O M. Okay. So, what did I just install? <laughs> okay, eyebrows. Okay, so I'm assuming in order to wear that, I need an eyebrow... Like, no, um... Eyebrow layer. Dirt. Blonde. <laughs> no, that's just pale. Okay, let's see. There must be one that says... Ah, oh, there we go. Alrighty then. So that's cool. Alright, so I think I've covered all of those fun stuff. Logo. Let's see, was there um, anything else in here? Um, there's this. Body appliers. Ooh, that's good. I need that. Uh, wait, we'll worry about that in a moment. I need the body apply appliers because all of my appliers are old. <laughs> so that kind of sucks when that happens. Okay, coming back out this way. I am at a sandbox. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. And for the sake of this, I'm going to put those there. And back this out again. I'm sorry, I should have had this all unpacked already, but <laughs> nobody ever said I was the smartest cookie. I had most of it unpacked, so that's good. Alrighty. Peach, peach, peach. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's another unpack. Oh, that drives me insane. How many of you out there just loves unpacking and unpacking and unpacking and unpacking? <sighs> Heavens. Okay, what's this? Appliers. They're all appliers. Was there a BOM? Or, like, did I totally miss it? Okay, go back up here. Omega. Nope. There's no BOM applier. That's scary. Because I wear tons and tons of BOM. Alright, so skin creators out there that have these packs, please, oh please, oh please remember to include um, a BOM or system skin layer. Please. Just a thought, you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going back up to this. Alright, let's see. I wish I could see these tabs better, but I can't. So, that kind of bites. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Let's try one of their skins. This is a logo skin. I don't have the logo applier for the body. I'll actually have to go and get that. <laughs> Right. Da, 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 da. 
So there you have that. Okay, so I am actually going to turn um, back to my BOM layers. Um, going back here, so that means I have to take off the logo head. So that's coming off. Bye! Going back to the eyeballs. And go, whoa, hello. See, okay, now see you're seeing this. That's easy enough. Uh, click your enable baked on mesh. And we're all golden now. Yay! <laughs> so you've learned how to install with me. <laughs> so did I, so that's good. Um, if there's a question that you'd like to know about the head, let me know and I'll do what I can. There is the, I didn't show you this part, one second, let me get in here and grab this, Chelsea, the installers for the animation. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the same thing, so here is my installer that I am wearing. I am also going to put on my animations HUD, which will come up over here, there we go. And then we're going into this blogging thing. This is the animation, the I Love You. There are two of them in there. Um, oh, okay, so it has the the number one, Wear Me, and then there's number one, E. So I'm assuming that's the one with the ears. We're not using that one, so add this. Okay, where are we? I'm not 100% sure. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Doo -doo. Um, edit. Oh, it's right underneath. Oh. Okay, so I've already installed this pack. So we're going to go with this one here. It should pop up there, right? Am I right? You can detach the installer. Okay. Um, not sure where it goes. So go back. I'm guessing it added, but I don't see it. Huh. Hold on a second. Let me detach and reattach. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't see it, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that I don't see it. <laughs> there it is. Haha. -ha. See? I knew I'd find it sooner or later. Mother God! Did you see that? Her face got so big. <laughs> I'm assuming it's saying, I love you. All right. <laughs> oh, this HUD here. This is something I like about this HUD. Go away. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. Okay. Yes, we get it. You love us. We love you too. Stop it. All right. So coming down here, you of course, you get your different um, heads and stuff. Now, say you want one of these for a, um, a photo. And obviously, after a second, it changes its uh, look and everything. That's okay, because this is what you do. Right here is um, your freeze animation. You click that, and then you click the animation you want to use. Also, you get your eye movements here. So you got, you know, where you want to stick things, where you want your avatar to look. <laughs> I like that one. Uh... And you can choose different animations to use. I like that one's cute. <laughs> that is adorable. I love that. This one here doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, it did it, it did it, it did it! Sorry, I just got like uber excited about that. Earlier when I tried to use it, it wouldn't work for me. It hated me. But now I see I've I've figured it out. So Yimi, you can also um, 
put your movement eye movements on or off if you want to freeze them or something. Um, you have your talk animation down here, your blink if you want to turn your blink on or off. Um, there it goes. I'm not sure if it just does it naturally or what the deal is with that. I've never been good at that part. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Head motions. Let's take a look. Does it do anything? It probably would do something if I wasn't on a pose stamp. So we'll touch base on that another day. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And okay, so you have been through the very in-depth um, explanation of the logo mesh head. And this is free to you, okay? The first part of this, the, the head, the HUD, is free to you. And it is a thank you from Logo for being customers, fans, and the whole bit all these years. Now to share with you what I am wearing. My hair is called Cotton and it is from Duox. Uh, my ears are from Swallow. These are Magic Pixie. My eyes are from Gloom. My skin is from Pink Fuel. And it is actually available discounted at this um, anniversary event. So you might want to go check that out. This jacket was a gift from my SL dad. Like, I have two SL dads, Hayden and Delcor. Delcor has been with me since the dawn of time, and he is my dad in real life as well as SL. Hayden and I have had a bumpy road, but, you know, we're so close, and he was my SL mom's husband, so he kind of just inherited me. She passed away in real life, but uh, Hayden and I are still close. So, hi Hayden, and hi to my dad, uh, Delcor. I keep on trying, I keep on almost saying his real life name, but, you know. <laughs> so this jacket is from Lunar, and he had actually been looking for something for his girlfriend, but I fell in love with the jacket too, and he got me the jacket. The jacket comes with this top. Um... I'm going to show you how it looks through animations. See? Cute, right? I love it. These animations are from Fox City, in case you missed it. Okay, close that off. My shorts, which I believe I can change the color of the belt, I just forgot, are from... Oh, is it Osama? Uh, Osama? Ugh. I always say it wrong. I'm never good with names. Have you noticed that? All right. So Lunar uh, Os Osmia. 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 Okay, whatever. <laughs> they were part of a 50 Linden Friday thing. I really like how it snugs up on um, the butt. And I also like the fact that the um, cuts in the clothing don't cut through my avatar, if that makes sense. My boots are from Smeller, no, Semler, Semler, and they, I know I'm hovering off the ground, whatever, they were part of the Saturday sale, and basically I got the white version, which is like meaning the, s the skeleton being white, and then I was showing them to Doom, and he wanted them for his avatar, so we headed over, and while he was scoping out the colors, which were pink, green, and white, I decided to get the pink as well. I had to. Uh-oh. We do have a cut. Houston, we have a cut. That's just normal with any animation, though. You're going to get some that you're going to have a cut through them. Now, I also am blogging an item from... Um, lock and tough but i couldn't use it for the actual video itself because and you'll see why momentarily it uh actually has an animation of its own so i'm going to show it to you <laughs> also i thought it was funny having a pickle in a bathroom a man's bathroom i just i thought that was hilarious so there's your pickle and it's just waving it around like it just don't care 
<laughs> there is a pickle HUD. Let's take a look at this because I didn't. <laughs> pickle HUD, where are you? Oh, there's the pickle HUD. Okay, pickle color. Oh, that's scary. I'm sorry, but pickles are supposed to be green. If they are pink, there is a problem there. That'd be like, oh my god, there's so many things that I could say that would be really inappropriate and disgusting. So we're just not going to. How's that? <laughs> a black pickle. Oh, look, a bullseye. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to um, change it back to green, hopefully. There we go. And the last but not least, I have a new sponsor and I'm going to say the name wrong because that's just what I do. I say names wrong. <laughs> okay, um, put this in here. Do, do, do. Oshiro. Oshiro. Now, the owner of this store is uber nice, sweetest thing ever known to mankind. Um, I had blogged one of her backdrops. It, you would have seen it earlier. It was a pizza shop. And I wanted to go and see what other stuff she had at her store. You know, that's normal. Um, I blogged an event. I believe it was Sense Event. And you know, one of her backdrops were included, so I wanted to see what else she had there. So I headed over, and this is the bullseye. Now, this is not at her, well, it is at her store. Like, you know, it's obviously because it's her item. However, what had happened was I went to her store and I picked up a backdrop that I blogged earlier, just before this. It was of myself and my friend, Doom, um, on a skateboard, skating around a bedroom, and that backdrop is well it was on sale at her store uh for a special price for saturday so i bought it and her and i start chatting and she had refunded me and she's like really really nice like uber nice and she became a sponsor of mine so thank you very much to the owner of oshiro that's how you say it oshiro she makes these really really cute uh, backdrops and like I said this is the bathroom hoo hoo call me <laughs> I am wielding a pickle in a man's bathroom check it out this is cool and you get like your toilets and stuff hello I see you I know flickering whatever and I believe there is something about these backdrops some of them I know that you can change the colors and stuff See, with this one, it's just, you know, the backdrop. But I do know that some of her backdrops, you can change the lighting. So, like, say it's yellow lighting, you can change it to pink or something, you know? Um, that's not the case with this backdrop. Keep that in mind. But this is a really cute backdrop. What do you think? I feel like playing tic-tac-toe. All right. So, that is my blog post. And, um... You can thank Adobe for really messing with me while I'm trying to learn the program. And wow, this video took a while, but I tried to be as in-depth and with the most information possible. So cross your fingers and let's hope that it worked out. Um, I know I don't do a lot of in-depth reviews. It's just that they do take time and sometimes I'm not feeling a hundred pardon me, 100% saying that's what I meant by not 100%. Um, but when I do have the energy, I do try to bring you as much content as possible. Please share this video with your friends, share it to your profile or whatever. If you are on my social media, um, a couple of my social medias are private to subscribers only because I've had problems in the past where, you know, haters are going to hate, and I understand that, and there's even some haters on my timeline, and I can handle those, but it's when people that, you know, hide behind a, a screen, um, they get really mean sometimes, and uh, a while back I couldn't handle it, I'm the first to admit it, so I decided to make my stuff private for only subscribers. So it just means that I was able to pick and choose who I brought in. However, I have been slowly um, allowing more and more people onto my social media, so please, if you 
are a follower of my social media, start sharing it and I will accept people. <sighs> I am doing my best to come out of that shell and start to accept more people. Um, cross your fingers, it doesn't backfire, but you never know. And I'm hoping that if it does backfire, I'm strong enough to be able to handle it. <sighs> There's a dose of reality and honesty for you folks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like, share, follow, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.